Hey guys and girls, it's the Zulus. I've been asked to make a little guide for most of you people that is trying to get into the game and still have a lot of things you don't understand. Um, I've been learning a few things in the game that can be of big help. Um, one of the things is to farm these altar of Lilith. Uh, you only need to do it on one character, or you can do it on multiply characters, but just make sure to finish a whole area before going to the next. Um, these will help you transmit, transmit, you know, what is it called? Uh, a big time? <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, let's see here, like in one area, you can collect up to, let's see here, 28 in Fractured Peaks. Um, and those are gonna give you points that in the time will help you to get these up. That will give you skill points, potion, more skill points, and more oboils and paragon. So this is one thing you can do to help yourself get more of it. And all the um, Alt of Lilith you take will give you main stats. Those main stats do not only go for your main character, but also for all the other characters you're making important go for it the other thing that could be quite good to get on with is those lovely uh, area quests with those cold um, strongholds mostly they open up for new waypoints and new dungeons you want to have the next part we're gonna look at is in here um, let's see here uh, we click on the map and then we click Y we go to the codex of power for most characters, it's really important to unlock these. You can do this on a main character, so you have it on your old. You can always show only for your class. You can find exactly the one you want to do for like whatever you need it for. And one of the things here you want to know is the easy thing. You can just left click it and it says ping on map, you see? And now if we look at the map, it will show exactly the dungeon's location. So it also shows you the road, everything straight into it. Or if you have a waypoint close, you can just go over there. Um, when you do altar strongholds, all of this, you can do it on the lowest settings. You do not need to do it at high settings. It doesn't matter. So just get the points, get on with it, go to the next shot. As soon as you unlock all of the points, as we talked about before, um, then everything will be going straight into your all of the characters. So it's a one time you need to open all of them. So if you have a main character, just finish it all. And again, you can finish all in one place. And if you haven't done the others, you can do that on the other characters you're gonna make. Just make sure to finish it. It would be the best. It's also a good uh, idea if you have multiply characters and you want to make gold. You can see the gold here is really well paid and it's easy to do as you're just running around. Yes, you can do the same strongholds, the same side quest, waypoints, and picking up altars and all of that on every character. So it's easy to get those points. For leveling, I will say that mostly I would say quest is the best way. So side quest, um, following up on those when you need to go to a dungeon for a quest, do it. Um, do not focus too much on the dungeons, unless that is the way you want to level, but it will be, as in all other games, slower. So that is some tips I can give you for now. Should you have more questions, something you want to know about builds, stuff like that, don't forget, I find my bills by looking up on Google, but if you need me to show you how I follow those, um, or how to find my way around them to understand them, uh, how do I play the build when I set it up, um, those things can still be a bit tricky. Um, so if you need help with that, I will gladly uh, put up a new video for that specific thing. You can come in and claim uh, some help from my channel on the Twitch or my Discord as you can find as well. So for now, have an amazing day and I will see you later. The Solace is out.